So I'm thinking that my longer format videos need a bit of a refresh. It's a bit of a difficult balance for me because I like to put in as much effort as possible into most things that I do. However, in doing so with YouTube videos, it means that doing a five to 10 minute video can take anywhere from 20 plus hours to film it, edit it, and actually do the work that I'm filming. So I'm thinking of doing something a little bit in between, not quite a vlog, not quite what I'd call a refined video. Will this mean more frequent long format videos? That's up to you. Anyway, as I kind of revive what is the long format videos on this channel, we probably should do a bit of a recap of what's been going on. If you follow my Instagram, you're pretty much already up to date, but I'll go over it here anyway. All right, vlog time. So, K25 updates. I pulled the timing case off because initially I suspected that I may have actually messed up the timing when I put the new cam in, but I didn't. Timing is perfect. Well, perfect for a stock cam. However, that's not a stock cam that's in there, so I 3D printed this. Get off. Done. What is that? It's a cam timing wheel, and it goes down here. As you can see, there's a radiator that I removed earlier that'll let me dial my cam in properly. However, to dial the cam in, you need an adjustable cam gear. Do I have one of those? No. So, I'm going to make one. This bad boy on here. Boom. You can see that this is the factory one. And then that's my one. How good. What's that got to do with the turbo? I'd like this car to be running well before I start fiddling with it because I'd like to have a good baseline before I start. And I'd also like to get rego on this before I put a turbo on it for no real reason. That's it. I realize how that's not as exciting as turbo noises. So I've got this. What an amazing little 4K. So, why two turbo crawlers? Well, the K25 has got a pretty decent plan for what I'd like to do to it, and I'd like to try and plan as much as I possibly can to avoid potential pitfalls. However, I understand that some of the things I do aren't completely accessible to all people. So what I was thinking was, maybe with the K70, I could do just complete bare bones, minimum requirements turbo install, and then maybe we can kind of go from there. We can see what the problems are and we can see how we can try and tackle them and improve it. So we can start from full on redneck backyard a job to something maybe kind of decent. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking. This is a little bit of a vlog update. Let me know what you think about it. It kind of kills my soul a little bit, not putting in maximum effort. However, as I said, it means that videos just take ages to get out. I've just got so many things on the go at the moment. It's hard to find that middle ground. So let me know what you think.